This man was almost responsible for the death of thousands of people. Here is Hugh Stubbings. A company wanted to build an office skyscraper, but on the plot they bought in Manhattan, there was a church called St. Peter's Church, and that church did not want to move. They got a deal working, though. The company would build them a modern church to replace their old gothic one, but they wouldn't move the location. They would build their building next to the church, but keep them separate buildings, and leave them at least two-thirds space above the church roof. This is where the FATAL MISTAKE was made. Not really that fatal. To leave the church room, we should just remove part of the building, they thought. Wait, let's just remove the entire structural integrity of the whole building. Yeah! This is America, we do what we want! What a foolish decision. The building was placed on big concrete stilts. Not in the corners, though. In the middle of each side. Why? It was already bad enough. They made these cool little thingies that diverted the stress into the beams, and they had a... The frick was it called? Tuned mass damper. The frick? It moves around when the building shakes, and it makes it so the building doesn't... Shake. TMDs! 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 Also, W with an N at the bottom equals K over M. And don't ask me what that means. Anyway, later, like months later, the guy who designed the damn thing was like, ordering wins. What's that? Hey bro, how are those welds holding up? What do you mean? We used bolts, not welds. What? You didn't tell me? Some quick math not quick, later, and he figured out that he needed THREE TIMES as many bolts to survive any storm that would hit Manhattan. If the building toppled, it would literally create a domino effect on the rest of the buildings. He started Project Serene. Special engineering review of events nobody envisioned. He didn't want to worry people, so he called it Project Serene. Every night after closing, a construction crew added reinforcements to the beams and then covered it up so that way nobody would know. And it worked! That building is still there looking like it's about to fall and create a domino on everything around. 